My name is Ali Raza. I am the founder of Sweet Pixel Studios, which is a shower-based startup company we found two years back. We work on mobile apps and games. Startup Weekend. If if it were not for Startup Weekend, if it were not for three years ago or two years ago when I visited Lums uh, for my first Startup Weekend, I would not be running a startup right now because I had no idea what a startup is. I had no idea how it works. I did not see the big picture back then. So yes, Startup Weekend is very essential because it opens the eyes of the students or the participants to a whole new world where they are free to develop their own job. They are free to create more jobs and you know make a lot of money actually. So yes, the Startup Weekend is a great idea and uh, I see it and I believe that it's gonna keep on happening and it should keep on happening in every city. I, I pray that it happens in places where it has not happened before. I pray that it happens in Balochistan more often now because it there are a lot of amazing talented people in our country. They are doing great stuff, but they don't have the vision. They don't know. They don't have the guidance how they can move it forward. My name is Mohammad Asif. Graduated in 2006 from NAST with a CS uh, degree. And then 2007 and 8, I was in, uh, I was at Stanford, uh, doing some research work. In 2010, I came back to Pakistan and started uh, my own company with the name Sortlet, but uh, it didn't uh, work out pretty well. So I started another project by the name of Probist. This uh, initiative of Startup Weekend, this is really awesome, and I think we should have more. Uh, activities like this happening not just in Peshawar but throughout Pakistan right uh, we see about like one startup weekend in just one major city in Pakistan but I, I say we should have like uh, we should have like one startup weekend every quarter in every major city in Pakistan right because this brings a lot of motivation right and one uh, memorable uh, experience, I would say, at Startup Weekend, uh, Startup Weekend Shower was that there was one guy, he was like in second semester doing his BBA from Edwards College and uh, he wanted to sell, he, he had one contact of who, 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 uh, an NGO uh, and that NGO was uh, like providing handicraft items from female in rural uh, in rural uh, KP, uh, and uh, he was trying to sell those handicraft items abroad, right? To even in Pakistan and abroad as well, right? But he had no idea that what he had to do, right? So I only gave him one uh, suggestion that while you are looking for a developer. You can start your own online store using Shopify, right? So Shopify is an e-commerce platform where you can run your online stores, right? And he said, I have no knowledge of uh, uh, internet, uh, of uh, development. I said, you do not require in, uh, any experience. If you, if you do have a Facebook account and you can upload pictures and you can comment on certain stuff, right, that you like and that you don't like, you would probably be able to just go and start up your own business on Shopify. My name is uh, Dr. Usman Ahmed Raza and uh, I'm currently working as uh, director of the Public Health Interventions Unit at Prime Foundation. Uh, Prime Foundation is a national NGO working in health uh, sector, uh, mostly in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. So the idea that I presented at the Startup Weekend was about uh, building a uh, text message based drug prescription system for physicians and patients and I my basic uh, idea is that I'm trying to solve the problem of poor quality of prescription uh, that are handwritten and often incomplete and they lead to mistakes in medication and they can sometimes uh, cause serious damage to the patient uh, so um, my idea is to basically replace the paper-based uh, prescriptions with SMS. And in that, the model is very simple. We will have a web portal uh, 
uh, of which we have built a prototype during that startup weekend. My team basically won the first prize uh, in the uh, startup weekend, so it was very well received, and, and uh, the judges selected this as the winner uh, of the competition.